for many are called, for few are called chosen, for few are called chosen. Life is a cruel thing. Brothers and sisters of the Israelite church, you say you're her family, you say that she's your sister. I ask again, where is, where is it? your sister? Bring her home. That's all. That's all. <laughs> Police investigating the disappearance of Joy Morgan, the trainee midwife from the University of Hertfordshire, have rearrested a man on suspicion of murder. A man's been charged with the murder of missing student Joy Morgan. The 21-year-old was last seen at a church in Ilford in London on Boxing Day. Come out over the next few months is the story of a young woman who became distant from her family, deeply committed to a church described by some as a hate group, a church where she'll meet her murderer. I know that IUIC has the words of eternal life. Um, and I know it for a fact, and that's why I will continue to endure Lord's will and be of IUIC. Come to Luton. It was not long after her dad's death that Joy started becoming interested in a church called Israel United in Christ. We haven't come to play no games. Who's the king? Christ! Who's the king? Christ! The church was founded in the US in 2003. Its leader is a man called Bishop Nathaniel. IUIC is part of the Black Hebrew Israelite movement. It believes that Black, Hispanic and Native American people are God's chosen ones and are the true descendants of the biblical 12 tribes of Israel. In the beginning, it was a proud feeling. It was a feeling of being a part of a unity, a unified group. You don't really see a lot of Black people together, honestly, so I had a, a sense of pride, a sense of Yes, like we're actually organizing something, we're doing something for God. And so I, I was very prideful in the beginning. I was happy, I was excited. And that were drug addicts, drug dealers, you know, um, and they actually changed. This group's philosophy is if you're not part of certain races, you will eventually be their slave. But leaders say they are not a hate group because they claim they don't hurt anyone. The other nations are going to be our slaves in the kingdom. So I will be your slave? Yes, according to the Bible. All the other nations that uh, came up against us, they put us, sold us into slavery that are oppressing us, they're going to be slaves in the kingdom. And we're going to be the ruling people in the kingdom under Christ. The we're going to be the ruling people in the kingdom under Christ. These views have resulted in it being labeled as a black nationalist hate group by a civil rights organization in the US. They have the belief that Caucasians are literally, not figuratively, not like metaphorically, but they are literally the devil. So what white people have done, like with slavery, for example, and other ways of oppressing uh, black people, are because they're the devil, right? It's because white people have this, uh, you know, horrific, it's like we're, white people are genetically driven to destroy black people. Her, our whole family's mixed, you know, her sisters are mixed, her, you know, her stepdad is white, I'm white, she's got other members of the family that are white, and she's an open-minded person. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Racha HaKwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Okay, so that's uh, all praises to the Most High and His Son, Okay, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, you Israelites and your families that are following, doing your part in sincerity. Okay. Uh, I want to go in this video. I ran across, I, I didn't even know it was a video, a, a documentary on the murder of uh, Joy Morgan. So I figure I'll touch on it, make a short video on it, and just hit the points. You know, I try to hit them from the, the intros. Uh, but anyway, um, they're blaming Israelites in entirety on the deeds of one person in a group. And you really can't do that. If somebody, even in Great Millstone, uh, decides to, you know, hurt or murder someone, 
we have no doings in that because none of us really teach to go and hurt anybody. Um, but I'll do something different than anyone has done for us when the uh, implication came out about somebody in GMS or that did something like that. Um, but we'll stand for truth's sake because that's our job. I don't, I don't believe, nor do I ever think IUIC condones anyone going around killing anyone, okay? This is also the dangers of overstepping when you're dealing with the law. You know, there's a thing called mercy, grace, forgiveness, okay, repentance, okay? So when you're dealing with the law, if you have a bug out that, you know, because who knows what happened? That's another thing. You know, when someone dies or passes, the, the people on that side, um, you know, no, as you know, it's mostly women. They all have their good take on what happened and how it happened. Uh, we don't know. We do know, according to the Most High, the Most High does what he does. Okay? So you really can't go to uh, anyone who commits murder uh, or kill a loved one and they happen to belong to First Pentecostal Baptist Church, are we really going to blame the whole church? And they're saying it's a cult, which is a faith, a culture. But if we taught to murder your wife, if we taught to create to do heinous acts to people and hurt people, if we even taught to uh, kill Edom, it's, it's believable that we would, you know, you could blame this so-called cult. But this same group, IUIC, and, and we're going to show more character, this same group has allegedly accused us of raping, I believe, three-year-olds. Okay, they did a video like that. They titled it. GMS says it's okay to rape six-year-olds or something like that. But let's say 12-year-olds. And we never condone or even thought about that. So when you put that that uh, energy out there, it comes back to you. Because people aren't going to look at just Great Millstone as this so-called rapist camp. They're going to look at their, all Israelites as a cult in, in a sense. Okay. And that's just to the bottom line. Okay, I actually, I didn't even have any scriptures lined up. I just want to do a short commentary on it. You know, you cannot blame um, an action of one on, on many, you know, on a whole group, a whole church. As I said before, any pastor who kills his wife, you know, um, the pastor that raped his stepdaughter repeatedly for many years, and a woman was crying and she had an attitude. They flagged the video, of course. Nobody blamed the whole church. They only blamed that individual. Okay? Nobody. But because we teach what the Bible says. And the Bible does say, according to the Bible, and she admitted what well, she said, that's what we teach. All other nations will go into captivity under the children of Israel. And it's plain because these people who are asking these questions are under slavery to the uh, to their own people. Now also, when she did the interview with the Jake and he said, well, you're going into slavery, you know? If you line goes back to Edom, which I believe that news analyst line did, um, that's if your line goes back, goes back to uh, Edom, okay? If you don't go back to um, Jacob, it's just what it is, you know. You're gonna go, you're gonna go into slavery according to the Bible, and it's interesting because this world breeds slavery, you know. That's all it does, you know. They they have a military that can. Uh, quarantine you and lock your ass down at will okay that's not slavery giving you fake money ain't slavery uh, this is jeremiah 30 and 16 i was just speaking until i got the scripture therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured 
And all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. So it's not talking about one person. Every one of them shall go into uh, captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. So it's interesting also to see that this woman that is in the Southern Poverty Law, who looks to be an Edomite, okay, all of a sudden, all the hell we caught, she somehow, they somehow joined the band together after oppressing us, after taking our heritage, after uh, us being strung out, drugged out, families broken, and now they want to call on S Southern Poverty Law? You know, you know, it's just crazy how the enslavement of us, you know, and giving us this way of life. Then the Southern Poverty Law claims to come up with an organization des describing discrimination. <laughs> and one of it was the churches. So IUIC, although we don't teach the same doctrine, they're on track far as teaching you who you are to break that yoke and come out of slavery okay that's what it is and she goes on to say that um you know we believe that they're just, i'm trying to keep it straight that's why i'm pausing in the middles the middle of the sentences to get the words correct she says we are gen we think they're genetically set to hate black people okay it ain't what we think it's pretty much what we know and the proof shows it what these people are trying to do is wipe out your history they're, what they're doing is what Edom doesn't allow us to do you can rob a bank you can even murder somebody at 20 years old you can live to 90 and on your deathbed, they will bring in the handcuffs and arrest you. This is what they do. They don't forget. Okay? But we're supposed to. Understanding that the Lord set up a few good men, you know, and many men, many are called, but few are chosen. So he set up men to bring out this truth. Now, for the murder of this young lady which i'm sorry to hear there's no doubt but that's the most high show this is the most high show but look at all the lives especially of young black men that are saved when they come into the truth to a degree because it's still a little show but imagine if all of us you know we recruited and they're after numbers we're after the elect and that's the difference between us but even them who are getting young men off the street I should be K as well. We don't agree on their doctrines, but to come off the street and not be a drug dealer no more, not be a crack user no more, you got to know that's hurting these elites. They want us to do that. This is what they continue to do. And I don't understand why there's not documentaries, which there are some, on not just showing us as drug dealers and gangbangers, them phony, sick documentaries to try to get us uh, enchanted by uh doing those behaviors. I'm talking about documentaries of how this man has forced us into slavery and out of slavery, this is a result, okay, of our, our women over us. The society has beat the, the strength of the so-called black community down. And they're using this to say, oh, that's a hate group. But the biggest hate group is the Edomites. Those are the ones, if we all broke up and closed up shop and put our Bibles down, you know what they would do? They would cheer because we'll be back into those churches. We'll be back slinging crack or using crack. We'll be back committing adultery. We'll be eating their pork and swine. We'll be back up in the stores buying crabs. We'll be, we'll be breaking every law that's under the face on the, in, in the scriptures. And that's what they want us to do. This is why they're targeting us as Israelites. Okay? Uh, I believe it's Psalms 82 and 6, I believe, where they said they've taken crafty counsel. They said, let, let them 
let them cut us off from being a nation so the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So at the end of the day, when you all look at it, the, uh, as uh, the Jake, I don't know his name, that was uh, interviewing the lady, um, you got to pay. The Most High is not one that he should lie. And this has been going on. Kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall. Okay? So that's why they're talk, trying to target us. Job 34 and 29, when he give a quiet, who then can make trouble? Right? So when in time of peace, who can make trouble out of that? You know, nobody can. Okay? And when he hide of his face, who then can behold him? You know, meaning when, you know, we were put into slavery, who who gonna see who gonna be able to see the Lord? He's controlling this whole show. It says whether it be done against a nation or against a man only. Okay. So yeah, the most high punishes nations. Nations are going into slavery, you know? These uh elites set up the Bible and these Catholic churches to read it to you a certain way. Whether you like it or not. Anyway, uh my whole point of this video is um because of IUIC and she was affiliated with IUIC, I don't think it had anything to do with her death. It just so happened that the family was against it. The world is against it. And that's what she was known to enjoy, being in the truth. Okay? So when they, you know, a man, you know, whoever it is who took her life, which the Spirit of the Lord did, whoever took her life, they have to blame somebody. They have to blame it on this so-called cult who don't teach that. It's only a cult because we teach women to get in order, okay? See, this is Gina Blue, Blue's problem because you got to get women in order. When women don't want to get in order, when anyone doesn't want to get in order, they make excuses to continue in their wickedness. That's all I have on that, Shalom.